Hi, and in this lesson, what we're going to do is cover security. And you may see this lesson twice, but that's because it's such an important part of this course. If we go back to our first example, with our first resource, inside our provider, we've added the access key and the secret key. And the Terraform best practices is that this is a big no-no. You shouldn't do this. So maybe wondering, what are the alternatives? So there are two ways we can go about it. Terraform can pick up environment variables. So one way we could do it is set AWS underscore access underscore key underscore ID equal to and this value and the same for the secret key will be identical except this will be secret. And if you're wondering how we would do that on Linux and Mac, it would be export and we'd set the value and on Windows, it will be set X. There's another way we can do it, and this is going to be the approach I'm going to use, which is with the AWS CLI. And what it does is it creates a hidden folder inside your home directory and it stores your credentials in there. There is another way, which we are going to cover later, because as part of the exam, HashiCorp want you to learn about other products. And the other one they're going to touch on is Vault. You can use the Vault provider to pull in any credentials and secrets you might need. Let's focus on setting up the AWS CLI. I've already got it installed, but in case you're wondering, have a look online for the AWS command line interface. It's available for all platforms, Windows, Linux, and Mac, and I'll include a link to this page. Once you've got it installed, the command you want to run is AWS configure. This was a previous key I was using. In this case, I'm now gonna paste in my new one. Now I'm just gonna paste in my secret key. Default region, now I'm based in London, so I'm gonna set EU West 2. Default format, we want JSON, so we can go ahead and hit enter. And there we go, that is now set up. So now what I can do is go back to my Visual Studio code, get rid of this, save it. Now go back to my integrated terminal and we can check it all works by running Terraform plan. This is a really key concept for the exam and that is how to securely store your keys. So there's three ways we can do it. We can set it as environment variables. We can use the AWS CLI as another method. And we could also use the Vault provider. That wraps up this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you want to learn Terraform in depth with hands-on challenges and even get certified, make sure to go to warp-9.com.